What up, y'all? It's Chris Weathers, a.k.a. Shorty C94, back at you again with another shoe review. Before we get started, I'd like to say Happy New Year to all of y'all. I actually reviewed this shoe last year, but somehow I deleted the recording. I don't know. So anyway, first review of 2020. Air Jordan 13 Retro, what is that, black, gym red, white. They're at a hard time seeing it. Okay, so just pulling it out the box. Um, this isn't a bad 13, there have been worse, but it's not great either. Um, it's, I get that it's the reverse of the white, black, and red, many of you call He Got Games. You know, it was in the movie for uh, about five minutes. Um, looking at it, the first thing I'm noticing is this white, this, I don't know what this is, if it's plastic what you know but uh uh it appears to be 3m as well as the the midsole so um that's a bit of a difference it's got your hologram it's got your regular 13 bottom with a hologram on the bottom this faux carbon fiber this leather i can't really tell if it's the good leather or not the leather on the toe is different than the leather on the side i think this leather on the side is the good leather and this is just the okay leather, you know. But all in all, I mean, these aren't horrible. They're not great. They're just kind of a, a run-of-the-mill, middle-of-the-road Jordan. Um, quality is just kind of, eh, there's a, you can see a glue stain right there. Um, you know, I know people that love 13s are going to buy these, you know. It's obvious. It's, it's like I said, it's not horrible. It's not great. You've got your Jordan tag at the bottom of the tongue here. It's in red where it normally would have been white. Um, you've got the circle from the playoff 13s, except instead of gold, it's just red. So you've got this. I really think this is something that they, they considered doing on the OG 13 with the circle. But they kind of went away from it um, and just went with the plain tongue on the, uh, the OG. So... Because, um, I don't know, I feel like when they, 13 was the beginning of Jordan brand, so there were a lot of uh, jump mans and circles that hadn't really been seen before, before that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think these are going to be, you know, fairly easy to get. I don't think they're going to be, you know, that hard to, to come by. I don't think it's going to be something that is going to, I don't know how to say it. I'll say it differently. I definitely think that these have the potential to go on sale. Um, they'll probably sell out in certain areas eventually, but yeah, this is, this is just, it's just okay. Um, that's really the best thing I can say about it. Um, This isn't necessarily something that I would wear off the rip. I mean, I, I would get these on sale. You know, I'd probably pay maybe 150 or 100 something like that, but not 190 and certainly not on release day. But anyway, that's just me. That's just me. Um, I do feel like this will be a hit in the hood just because it's, it's very – the colors are very um, – easy to to match um you know what i mean i feel like all of the best hood shoes are just regular colors there's not too much to them you know you could just you know just wear it so throw these on with white teeth you know so anyway make sure and like comment subscribe follow me on instagram if you already aren't at shorty c94 definitely appreciate you guys watching um and i'll see you guys soon Peace.